And how come she keeps looking at us and crying, saying, well, 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 and my, my, my. <laughs> Can't have that plan work out for you. I don't need a history lesson. I'm trying to solve a problem here. <laughs> Candace Cameron Bure is a name that has been synonymous with wholesome family entertainment since the late 1980s. But I know someone who does. Stephanie, follow me. What about me? You stay right here and watch that hole. You got it, dude. Best known for her role as the lovable DJ Tanner on the hit sitcom Full House, Candace captured the hearts of millions. As she grew older, her Hollywood journey evolved, but Candace hasn't always avoided the spotlight for all the right reasons. Oh my god, you're good. In recent years, some of her outfit choices have sparked debate, and in this video, we'll explore her life story while taking a closer look at those fashion moments we simply can't unsee. Early Life and Background Now aged 48, Candace Cameron Bure was born on April 6, 1976 in Panorama City, California, into a family that was no stranger to the entertainment industry. Her real name is Candace Helene Cameron, and her nickname is Candy. Her parents, Robert and Barbara Cameron, had already paved the way for showbiz success through her older brother, Kirk Cameron who was a teen sensation thanks to his role on Growing Pains. Growing up in Hollywood, Candace was naturally drawn to the world of acting and performing, following closely in her brother's footsteps. From a young age, Candace was captivated by the art of storytelling and performance. Her acting journey began with small commercial roles and guest appearances on television shows. As a child, she had a natural on-screen presence, which soon caught the attention of casting directors. Well, the reason that Comet got so big is because dogs grow faster than people. But Comet's all finished growing, and you're still getting bigger. Candace's early acting experiences laid a solid foundation for what was to come, but her family played a key role in shaping her early career. Kirk's success in Hollywood opened doors for Candace, but she quickly proved that her talent was independent of his fame. By the age of 10, she had already secured several roles in television and film, setting the stage for her breakout moment. Breakthrough with Full House and Early Career Candace Cameron Bure's breakthrough came in 1987 when she was cast as DJ Tanner in the ABC sitcom Full House. At just 11 years old, Candace stepped into the role that would define her career for decades. Playing the eldest daughter in the Tanner family, Candace became a household name, embodying the challenges and joys of growing up on screen. The character of DJ resonated with young audiences, and her sweet, relatable nature made her a fan favorite almost instantly. The success of Full House catapulted Candace to fame. The show ran for eight seasons, becoming a staple of 90s family television. Candace's portrayal of DJ Tanner wasn't just acting, it was her life as a teenager reflected on screen. Growing up in front of the camera, she navigated the pressures of Hollywood alongside the pressures of adolescence. And how come she keeps looking at us and crying, saying, well, 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 and my, my, my? <laughs> I don't know, she's pregnant. The balance of humor, heart, and family dynamics in Full House made the show an enduring classic, and Candace's character played a crucial role in its widespread appeal. Candace's early career wasn't without its challenges. As a young actress in the spotlight, she faced intense scrutiny and expectations, but she remained grounded largely due to her family's support and her strong sense of faith. After Full House ended in 1995, Candace took a step back from acting to focus on her personal life, but her impact as DJ Tanner continued to shape her career and public image for years to come. Personal Life and Family Candace Cameron Bure's personal life has always been intertwined with her public persona. In 1996, a year after Full House ended, she married Valeri Bure, a former NHL hockey player. Their relationship became a focal point of Candace's life as she embraced the roles of wife and mother, finding a new rhythm away from the Hollywood spotlight. Together, they have three children, Natasha, Lev, and Maxime, whom Candace often speaks about with immense pride. Candace has always been open about how her Christian faith guides her personal and professional decisions. She and Valeri have built a strong foundation based on their shared beliefs, and she frequently credits their faith for keeping their marriage strong despite the pressures of celebrity life. Candace's public declarations of faith have, at times, drawn attention, 
especially when she has spoken out on issues of family values and traditional roles. Been my beacon of light in all the decisions that I've made in my mm -hmm, career. Mm -hmm. It's been my guiding light. Um, Raising her children while continuing to work in the entertainment industry has been a delicate balance, but Candace has always made her family her top priority. Whether it is by homeschooling her children or by making sure she is present for significant family milestones, Candace has carved out a life that enables her to pursue her career while still maintaining a strong connection to her family. Her public image as a devoted wife, mother, and Christian has shaped much of her post-Full House career, but it has also sparked conversations about how she aligns her personal values with the demands and expectations of the entertainment industry. Despite these challenges, Candace has managed to keep her family life as stable as possible, while remaining a prominent figure in Hollywood. Fitness and Maintaining Health Candace Cameron Bure has long been admired for her commitment to maintaining a fit and healthy lifestyle. As a busy actress, mother, and author, staying in shape is not only essential for her career, but also for her overall well-being. Candace has openly shared her fitness and diet secrets, allowing fans to follow along with her personal health journey. In a recent interview with Cosmopolitan, Candace revealed that her diet is mostly plant-based, focusing on vegan-friendly options. She ensures she gets plenty of protein from sources like nuts, seeds, beans, and quinoa, while also keeping an eye on hydration. My body reacts to salty food and alcohol by puffing up immediately, she shared, emphasizing the importance of drinking plenty of water. Candace is also a fan of variety in her diet and encourages others to mix things up, whether it's adding new ingredients to salads or finding creative ways to keep meals fresh and exciting. Removing dairy from her diet has been another key factor in maintaining her physique, although she doesn't shy away from indulging in a sweet treat every now and then. Candace's fitness routine is just as dynamic as her diet. She works closely with her trainer, Kira Stokes, to incorporate a balance of strength training and cardio exercises into her weekly routine. Whether she's running stairs, working out in Central Park, or even exercising while on set, Candace proves that staying active can be done anywhere, anytime. She also encourages consistency and variety in workouts to stay motivated. Aside from her personal fitness regimen, Candace has used her platform to inspire others through fitness-related projects. She's shared her journey on social media. That's what is amazing about social media. Often documenting her workouts and offering motivational tips to her followers. Her dedication to a healthy lifestyle has made her a role model for fans looking to find balance between fitness, family, and a busy career. Career Comeback and Fuller House Success Candace Cameron Bure made a major comeback to the entertainment industry when Fuller House premiered in 2016. Reprising her iconic role as DJ Tanner, now a widowed mother raising her own children, Candace once again charmed audiences with her warmth and comedic timing. The reboot, which aired on Netflix, leaned heavily into the nostalgia of the original series, drawing in fans who had grown up watching Full House in the 90s, as well as introducing a new generation to the Tanner family. The return of Fuller House was met with excitement and overwhelming support from fans, many of whom had followed Candace's career over the years. The series played on the familiar themes of family, friendship, and lighthearted humor, which resonated with audiences in search of feel-good television. For Candace, it was a full-circle moment. She not only reprised her famous role, but also stepped into a more prominent position behind the scenes, serving as a producer on the show. The success of Fuller House reaffirmed Candace's place in Hollywood and revitalized her career. Beyond acting, she took on new roles as a producer and writer, expanding her influence in the entertainment industry. Summer loving happens so fast. Candace has also hosted several shows, including The View, where she became known for her candid discussions on topics ranging from family to faith. Her versatility and work ethic helped her balance the demands of a revived acting career with her personal life and entrepreneurial ventures. Candace's ability to adapt to the changing landscape of television while staying true to her core values has made her a beloved figure in both mainstream and family entertainment. Candace Cameron Bure's Inappropriate Outfits That We Can't Unsee Candace's fashion choice has been in the public eye for decades. 
While her wholesome image is often tied to her roles on screen, her fashion choices have sparked some serious buzz over the years. From red carpets to social media posts, her outfits have occasionally stirred up controversy, leaving fans and critics alike talking. Back in 2017, Candace found herself in hot water over what seemed like a simple outfit. She posted a casual picture on Instagram, sporting dark gray sweatpants and a white t-shirt with the phrase, Not Today Satan. For most, it looked like a harmless expression of her Christian faith. But for others, particularly fans of RuPaul's Drag Race, the shirt had a different meaning. The phrase had been popularized by drag queen Bianca Del Rio, and when Del Rio spotted Candace wearing the shirt, she called her out on social media, claiming Candace might not understand the full context of the phrase. Del Rio even hinted at her political views, labeling her homophobic, which led to a wave of criticism aimed at Candace. So I got it, it happened, we couldn't talk about it. In response, Candace took the high road, expressing that she didn't mean to offend anyone and that her faith doesn't equate to hate. It was a reminder that even a t-shirt can stir up emotions, especially when public figures are involved. And Candace's attempt to stay true to her beliefs certainly made headlines. Candace's role as DJ Tanner in Full House and Fuller House has solidified her as a family-friendly star with strong Christian values. But in 2016, she faced backlash from her own fan base after posting a picture in an outfit many felt was too revealing. On set with her Fuller House co-stars, Candace wore a black dress with lace and nude cutouts, which some fans saw as inconsistent with her image. While the look was actually a costume for a scene in the show, that didn't stop the flood of comments from disappointed fans who felt she was no longer representing the wholesome values they associated with her. This makes me so sad, one fan wrote, while another added, is this how you dress? Candace eventually removed the post, but the outfit remains a point of discussion, particularly among her more conservative fans. In 2021, Candace attended a wedding with her family, and what should have been a sweet family photo moment quickly turned into a fashion faux pas in the eyes of some. She wore a bright red dress, as did her daughter Natasha, and while they both looked stunning, many people felt the color was inappropriate for a wedding. Traditionally, the bride is meant to be the star of the show, and wearing red was seen as an attention grabber, something that many thought took the spotlight away from the bride. The internet didn't hold back, with some commenters suggesting that Candace should have gone for a more subtle look. Others criticized the men in her family for wearing no socks with their formal attire, adding to the critique of the overall family ensemble. Though Candace initially defended her choice, some speculate that she later deleted a few of the negative comments. Nevertheless, the red dress moment remains a standout in her controversial fashion history. In 2023, the Barbie movie took the world by storm, and many people, including Candace, got into the spirit by dressing up in pink. She shared a throwback photo of herself and her co-star, Marilou Henner, dressed in bright, doll-like outfits that were both playful and attention-grabbing. Candace wore a vibrant pink push-up bra under a blue leotard, complete with white tights, pink leg warmers, and matching accessories. While many enjoyed the fun post, others were quick to judge. <laughs> yes, so ask us anything, although Cand Candace will have to see what you're saying because I don't have my glasses. Some Christian fans felt the photo was promoting the Barbie movie, which they claimed did not align with their religious values. One commenter asked, Are you supporting the Barbie movie with this timely picture? The movie does not support Christian values. Candace cleared the air, explaining that the picture was from 2020, long before the Barbie movie became a cultural phenomenon. Even so, the flashy outfit and its perceived associations left fans divided. These standout moments in Candace Cameron Bure's fashion journey reflect not not just her personal style, but also her evolving image. From her days as a beloved sitcom star to a prominent public figure navigating the intersections of faith, fashion, and fame, Candace's choices have sparked conversation and sometimes controversy. Her outfits have challenged perceptions of what a Christian, family-oriented actress should wear, leading to debates about modesty, identity, and self-expression. Other Controversies of Candace Cameron Bure 
not just because of her wardrobe choices. Candace Cameron Bure has been involved in controversy on numerous other occasions. She has never shied away from being outspoken about her strong Christian faith, which has played a significant role in shaping her public image and personal choices. A devout Christian, Bure frequently shares her beliefs on social media and in interviews, proudly standing up for traditional values. While her faith has earned her a dedicated following among like-minded individuals, it has also sparked controversy, especially when her views clash with more progressive ideals. Congratulations tonight on your legacy. Thank you. One of the key controversies surrounding Bury is her vocal stance on traditional marriage. In 2016, she caused a stir when she defended a bakery's refusal to bake a wedding cake for a samer couple on the talk show, The View. She argued that businesses should have the right to decline services if it conflicts with their religious beliefs. This sparked outrage among the LGBTQ community and its supporters, who accused her of promoting discrimination. Buer, however, maintained that her position was based on religious freedom, not hate, further fueling debates around her views on inclusivity. Another moment that stirred controversy came when Buer supported the Hallmark Channel's decision to shift focus back to traditional family values after a brief inclusion of LGBTQ plus storylines. As a star and frequent collaborator with the network, Bure stated that she was proud to be part of content that reflected wholesome and faith-based values. This comment led to backlash, with critics accusing her of promoting exclusive and outdated ideals. Her political views have also drawn criticism, especially her support of conservative candidates and causes. Though she refrains from diving too deep into political discourse, her endorsement of Republican ideals, often intertwined with her faith, has sparked polarized reactions from the public. These controversies, while creating friction with some, have also solidified Buer's status as a polarizing figure who isn't afraid to stand firm in her beliefs. Social Media Presence and Influence Candace Cameron Bure's popularity isn't just confined to her roles on screen. Her presence on social media has significantly boosted her influence. With millions of followers across platforms like Instagram and Twitter, Bure consistently engages with her fans by sharing glimpses into her personal life, professional projects, and, of course, her faith. And I'm going straight to film another movie, another Aurora Tea Garden movie. Her Instagram feed, in particular, reflects a mix of family moments, behind-the-scenes looks at her film work, and personal thoughts on topics ranging from lifestyle to religion. Bure uses social media as a powerful tool to connect with her audience and promote her brand. Whether it's sharing clips from her latest projects or promoting her faith-based merchandise, she leverages her platforms to engage with her followers and reinforce her values. She often uses Instagram stories and posts to share Bible verses, words of encouragement, or updates on her ventures, solidifying her role as a role model to many. However, with such a large following, her posts often spark viral discussions, especially when they touch on hot-button topics. Her viral 2017 post wearing the Not Today Satan shirt led to backlash from the LGBTQ community, as previously discussed. Another controversial moment came when she shared a photo of herself and her husband in an affectionate pose that some deemed too racy for someone who publicly promotes modesty and Christian values. Though many found it harmless, the picture generated heated discussions about hypocrisy and and the double standards placed on public figures, particularly women, in Christian communities. Despite these controversies, Bure's social media presence remains a vital part of her career. She continues to use it as a platform for expressing her faith, promoting her ventures, and staying connected with her fan base, regardless of the polarizing conversations it sometimes generates. Candace Cameron Bure's Lifestyle and Career Beyond Acting Beyond her career as an actress, Candace Cameron Bure has built an impressive portfolio as an author, producer, and entrepreneur. She has written several books, many of which focus on faith, family, and personal growth, such as Reshaping It All, Kind is the New Classy, and Staying Stylish. These books showcase her commitment to living a life rooted in Christian principles while encouraging others to follow a path of kindness and self-improvement. Bure has also ventured into producing films, particularly those aligned with her personal values. As a regular collaborator with the Hallmark Channel, she has produced and starred in a number of their most popular Christmas movies. Her consistent presence on Hallmark has made her synonymous with the network's brand of wholesome, family-friendly content. Hey. 
In addition to her creative projects, Bure has dabbled in business ventures. She launched her own clothing line and has collaborated with various brands to promote products that align with her values. Through these efforts, Bure has managed to amass an estimated net worth of around $14 million, further cementing her as a multifaceted businesswoman. Outside of her professional pursuits, Bure is an advocate for various charities and causes. She supports organizations like Compassion International and SkipOne.org, both of which aim to help children living in poverty. Her philanthropic work reflects her desire to use her platform for good, consistently tying back to her faith and the values she holds dear. How she balances career, family, and personal beliefs. Balancing a career in Hollywood with personal values is no easy feat, but Candace Cameron Bure has made it clear that her family and faith come first. Over the years, Bure has spoken candidly about the importance of maintaining her Christian beliefs while working in an industry that often challenges those principles. She has shared that staying grounded in her faith is what helps her navigate the complexities of fame. Bure often credits her ability to balance her career and personal life to the strong foundation of her marriage and family. She has been married to former NHL player Valeri Bure since 1996, and they share three children. Bure has expressed that being a wife and mother is her most important role, and she strives to keep her family close-knit even as her career continues to thrive. In interviews, Bure has discussed how she turns down roles that don't align with her values. She avoids projects that she feels compromise her faith, opting instead for roles that reflect the principles she holds dear. This, she admits, can limit her options in Hollywood, but it's a choice she's comfortable making. By setting these boundaries, Bure manages to remain true to herself while still maintaining a successful career in entertainment. Legacy Candace Cameron Bure embodies a rare blend of authenticity and resilience in an industry notorious for conformity. While many succumb to the pressures of Hollywood, she remains steadfast, cultivating a brand that reflects her core beliefs and values. Her journey, from beloved child star to influential adult figure, illustrates a commitment to family-friendly entertainment and Christian leadership that resonates with countless fans. Despite the scrutiny she faces, Bure's fashion choices often spark debate, revealing the complexities of personal expression in a judgmental spotlight. Yet, it is precisely this uniqueness that enhances her legacy, proving that one can thrive in an industry that often tries to dilute individuality. As she continues to inspire others to embrace their values, Candace Cameron Bure's enduring presence in Hollywood stands as a testament to the power of authenticity, reminding us all to stay true to ourselves regardless of societal expectations. Ultimately, Candace Cameron Bure's bold ensembles have sparked a passionate conversation about the boundaries of fashion and public perception. Are these bold choices empowering expressions of individuality, or do they cross the line into inappropriateness? Regardless of your stance, one thing is clear. Fashion is a conversation starter. What are your thoughts? Let's keep the dialogue going, and remember, once we've seen it, we can never unsee it. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and want to see more, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on future content.